coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Bank and Pam, man, I appreciate the love. Boom, boom, boom. Appreciate the support. Love, love, love. Oh, Lord. Man, I've been under the weather. I thought it was my allergies messing up, man. Oh, I ended up going to praise the first today, man, and they tell me I got this flu bug that's going around, man, and it's been crushing your boy. Yeah, but I've been holding on, man. My nose been draining, been coughing uncontrollably. But, you know, I went and seen the people today, man, and got my medication, man. So I'm supposed to start taking this. You know, they done put needles out in me and did all these tests, man. So hopefully, man, I snap back, man, you know, be all right in a minute. But, uh, you know, show got to go on, man. You know, I got to get you all this positive energy, man. I got to get you all this stuff. I done had another video on hand that I was going to do, something that I wanted to talk about. So uh, I don't know... Um, Cause I've been coughing crazy, so I don't know how how, how long this is gonna last. So I'll probably do that video tomorrow, or something maybe after I start taking this medication, see if I feel better. So in the meantime, in between time, man, somebody sent me yet again another please jump. This one right here just was so crazy. <laughs> it just was so crazy, man. I had to go ahead on and uh, just look at this joint, man, because. The title alone, man. I got, I got to see what he talk about, man. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to react to this one. If I get the coughing and some, excuse me. Nose get to running, excuse me, cause I'm doing it for y'all. Yeah, I understand. I'm trying to get this information out here, man. I'm trying to hope some of these youngins heard some of this stuff and get scared to death of the penitentiary. You understand me? So. Yeah, this title alone make you want to see what's going on. Say, please, Johnson, explain dressing up as a woman. <laughs> An alter ego, Linda Dynamite. Well, do tell, please. Do tell. <laughs> so let's see what he got going on, man. Explain the alter ego, Linda Dynamite, to me, please. So I'm going to tell you something about the alter ego of it. I needed some booty. <laughs> Off the rip. And in the penitentiary, these motherfuckers, they ain't fucking with you. And that's you the way they are. You gotta be like them. To get some ass, you gotta give some ass. <laughs> I show some ass to get some ass, but I ain't giving no ass. <laughs> so. <laughs> they got some sisters in her now. Motherfuckers, I want to stick my dick in. Hey, I got to fuck them. <laughs> I... <laughs> Where this mic? Where this mic? This, this might be good for my cold, man. <laughs> Just flew off, man. Please, is off the chain, man. But <laughs> to be told, man, what he's saying is a lot of truth to it, man. A lot of them dudes in there, man, to get into that, man. That's their lifestyle, whatever, whatever, right? And um, some of them be into that. They call it swapping in there. They swap it out. You know what I'm saying? But they'll claim that they ain't swapping it out. But a lot of dudes know the ones that they swapping it out. They got all types of names. They call it their sword fighting, uh, pancaking, <laughs> all types of stuff, right? But then you got them ones like that too. They'll try to, you know, trick the people and tell them they're going to do something too. And then when they get in there, they do what they do. <laughs> and then they say, nah, I ain't nothing jumping off. And they try to do, they bang them out. Bang, 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 bang. Some of them will go tell the people that they got you know, assaulted, that they got, you know, raped or something, and you get a case. I know some dudes that got that case. Yeah, I know some dudes that got that case, so it's a crazy situation, but 
What he's saying definitely, definitely got some truth to it. You never getting out of the penitentiary. This is my life in the penitentiary. You know, whatever I gotta do, I'm in there for the rest of my life. <coughs> so, the best way to get some ass in her is to eight. I really like you, Kay. So I come out one day. I said, no, nah, it's just certain business. I said, uh, <laughs> they said, damn, everybody was curious. Because I'm the motherfucker that was breaking jaws in this motherfucker. I'm the motherfucker that was whooping their ass, fighting all the guards. A motherfucker that you get gas and mace. A motherfucker still be fighting. A motherfucker that all the prisoners done heard about. A bad motherfucker. <laughs> and I come out one day and I had my hair. I had a lot of hair, man. I had it all over to this side. Like that. <laughs> y'all can see uh i'm bust up and fleece is crazy but as he's saying it in my mind i'm thinking about towns you remember i told y'all about towns and that's that's how towns was in there man when i first came to penitentiary i told y'all when i first hit augusta man towns was sitting in there like a pimp towns was Dark skin, cut up, you know, uh, tall, snap dude, but he was cut up. Man, Towns had three boys. He had one, like I say, clipping his nails, bringing him coffee, lighting his cigarettes. He was in the cell with one, had the other two in the cell. Towns was like that, you know what I'm saying? And he was known to push that Bethlehem. And he came from a, 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 a set of brothers. It's like three of them. That's Hercules' brother. You know what I'm saying? It's three of them. Man, they was known for putting in wreck. They was known for, they say they told the wall to pieces. All three of them was in there together. You know what I'm saying? They ended up getting separated, going to different places. But this one right here, he was on Augusta with me, man. And, um, you know, he like I say, he he quiet. He talked real real low. And, 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 and he got like a little stutter. But he you look at him and you know he, he looked devious and he looked dangerous. You know what I'm saying? He'll be like... No, 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 you gotta, you, no, you gotta pay, you, you, you gotta pay that, man, no, 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 you gotta pay it, you know what I'm saying, he, that's how he talked, that's the same way he had the thing with Chucky, he, he had that joint out of Chucky, walked up in there on him with the joint, like, use it, use it, you better use it, and Chucky all up on him, now, I'm holding Chucky down that time, I'm like, man, Chuck, crazy, this dude got this joint in it, I'm talking about a long joint, he got in his head, but Chuck had that heart like that, but Towns was known for putting that work in, man. And then, like I told y'all, man, I ran into him years and years later, man, when I when I was on the farm. And he had one home and came back, and they was calling him Grandma. They was calling him Grandma, man. I seen him, man. When I first seen him, man, it just blew my mind. He got a tied-up shirt on, little booty shorts on, the same big, black, muscular, yeah. But it, it was just crazy. It was just mind-boggling, man, to me. You know what I'm saying? And dudes used to be saying back in the day, even though he had the reputation of doing what he did, you know, putting work in and stuff, they say he was flip-flopping, you know what I'm saying? But when you young and in the penitentiary like that, all of this stuff is new to you, so you looking at it, and you you can't see that from the optics, because you see that he'll go hard do. And, you know, even though he into what he into, you you, you got dudes that's into that. They kill us. <laughs> they kill us. 
You know what I'm saying? But they might got the frame of mind like he got. They ain't never getting out of whatever. Whatever their justification is, whatever they do, that's their business. But when you young, you look at them. You 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 in the penitentiary. They don't. They, they it's certain ones is looked at like that, and certain ones is not. Even though they doing what they doing, some dudes gonna get respect either way because they gonna take it and they gonna earn it. You know what I'm saying? I know dudes that, that, that mess with them people. You ain't gonna mess with them. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, unless you're trying to, you know, go to a straight war where it's it, it, it's subject to be some death involved. You know what I'm saying? So when I saw towns like that, it just blew my mind, man. And then the way Fleetsman talk about how he is and all this, I can imagine what the people was thinking when they seen him in this type of mode. They probably mind was blown, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's what I was thinking about. That was that's just crazy. I said, look at this man while I'm on the web, man. This is on my kill me, man. Please say, what? Please come on, man. Please say, grab it. He <laughs> hit with a 52 fake out. Please say, can I grip yours? <laughs> what is this cheesy? Oh my goodness, man. Hey, look, and I don't know if y'all noticed this, man, but we always, we keep calling the Fleece Johnson, man. He says his own name. He said Fullies. 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 I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, what, but it's his name, so I guess he know. Oh, man. Fleece said, can he grip yours? <laughs> okay. They got all kinds of shit. 
So I'm not on with you <laughs> for what you do to satisfy you in his life. I don't give a fuck what you think about me because, first of all, your respect, I don't need your respect. <laughs> your respect don't pay my bills, don't put clothes on my feet, don't put shoes on my back, <laughs> or food on my table. Hold up, hold up, y'all paying attention. <laughs> Lisa got caught up, man. He ended the story. Please say, don't put clothes on my feet or shoes on my back. Clothes on my feet or shoes on my back. Man, please off the chain. But, you know, he making a point. He said he don't care what nobody else do. And so why anybody worry about what he do? But, you know... The difference is whatever everybody else doing, don't nobody know about. He just telling everybody what he doing, so that's why everybody got an opinion. So it's gonna be like that because he telling everybody. You know what I'm saying? But uh, man, fleece off the chain. That 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 <laughs> fleece on. He on another one, man. He on another one. This one right here. This one kind of crazy, man. Fleece, fleece. He going a little left. <laughs> Yeah, he going a little left with the with with with, with the crows dressing and all. He going too far. <laughs> he go, he going too far. Please come back. Please come back. Fuck your respect. I don't need it. I don't give a fuck about what you society. I no motherfucker think about me. I'm a real motherfucker. I do what I want to do because <laughs> I know that you motherfuckers out there watching this shit is doing what you want to do. I'm not around you when you suck dicks. I'm not around you when you sell your pussy. I'm not around you motherfuckers to sell ass and suck dicks and go back to your wife and all this shit. I don't give a fuck about all that. We are living a life in this world to get through this life the best way we can. And with me, the booty warrior, <laughs> We need to do this a whole way out of here. That's why I'm at. <laughs> oh, <look>. oh. <coughs> oh, man. Please say, listen, <laughs> you can do this the easy way or you can do this the hard way. This way he at, man. He don't care what you're doing, man. He just say, you know, he going to do it the way he want to do it, man. Oh my God, man! I'm saying this dude right here, man. I'm saying if they don't, if, if 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 they don't make a movie about this cat, man, I don't, I, I don't know, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. But like I say, forty years, man. Forty years, he 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 done seen a lot. He done done a lot. Obviously, he done seen a lot, done a lot, man. He, you know, it, it, it's a life that most people never know. Most people never understand, you know. So. He definitely, he definitely got a commodity, man, because he got a wealth of knowledge about things that most people only can assume about, can, you know, wonder about, you know what I'm saying? They, they don't know. He know. He lived it. You know what I'm saying? He lived it. You know what I'm saying? And he telling his truth, man. So for that, man, you know, you got to respect him. You know, you may not do what he do. Hopefully you don't. <laughs> you never, you know, live the way he lived, but... He he unapologetic for what he do what he do and, and who he is, man. And, and I think he know who he is. I think he understand who he is. And obviously he not ashamed of nothing he did. Not one single solitary thing. And the bottom line is he survived. Whatever he went through, he survived it, man. Because like I say, to survive forty years in prison and to come out um seemingly healthy and strong. And if you look at Fleet's arms too, I can tell, you know, you've been in the penitentiary, you know, you used to looking at dudes and you you you, you can size them up, you know, because that might be somebody you might be in a, a confrontation with. So that automatically becomes a trigger in your mind to, you know, like, you know, for 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 y'all older people in there on this uh on this joint right he got a little season on you. You know what I'm saying? It's like six million dollar man. You you remember Steve Austin? You look at somebody like tuka, 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 or or like the, the the Terminator for the younger ones. The Terminator. You can size a person up because that person could be your potential enemy. So when you when I look at Fleece when he hold his arms up and he doing this and doing that, I can tell by the size of his arms that he he'd have been in that weight room before in his lifetime. He'd have put some work in and he probably used to have some real size on him because. You know what I'm saying? He, he he don't look like he's too out of shape right now. 
know what I'm saying, to be 60 some years old. So, you know, like I said, man, and all the battles and in, 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 in the, uh, the fights or whatnot that he claimed to have been in, man, he had to, he had to, uh, you know, he had to be in shape and he had to went through some, some, some serious stuff, man. They, like I say, most people would have, uh, you know, they'd have folded, you know what I'm saying? They'd have folded by the pressure from the police alone, having to fight the police like that, going, you know, doing that the amount of time. And, oh, I know dudes did that a much time in the whole man and lost their entire mind. And yeah, when I tell you entire, their entire mind, their family don't even know who they are because they don't know who they are. So, you know, like I say, the dude have, have, have survived what most people couldn't survive. Um, how he did it, he telling you. You know what I'm saying? He telling you how he did it. So all you got to do is listen, man. But like I say, man, it's it's a uh, it's definitely a, a, a blessing in all of these lessons, man. It, it, it's a blessing, man, because like I say, these are the type of stories Believe it or not, whether you accept it or reject it, these are the type of stories that these young dudes need to hear out here. This running around shooting these pistols, robbing people, want to get in gangs, want to, you know, be pulling all of this lasting and flim flam stuff out here. That's what they need to hear. That, they need to know that that type of life is waiting for them if they want it. If they want it, they don't know that. They looking at TV, they listen to these young dudes that go into the detention centers, Go on these road camps and come home in two or three years and the women in there was scared and lift weights a little bit and come home ten pounds bigger than they was when they went in there and talking tough and then they go tell, oh man, that don't want nothing, that won't and they were scared and hiding in there and doing whatever they could do to survive. Might have been into some of that, don't know. But they come back and they give a false narrative that they won't scared in there and it was a cakewalk. When it's everything but that. And these dudes need to let listen to dude like him and let them know what's going on in there, man. These people, in, you got people in there fighting for their life on a daily basis. Fighting for their life, their livelihood, their manhood, their, their dignity, their sanity every day. Yeah, with zero breaks, zero timeouts. And ain't nobody telling them that. So they don't understand it. They not getting that picture. And Fleece is giving you that picture. Whether you like how it's coming or, uh, or who it's coming from, he give you that picture. Because this is prison life. It's prison life. It's no different than where he from than in other places. Except for some places is more racist than others. That's it. But prison is prison. You're still locked up. you still going to have to adapt to your environment. you still going to have to adapt to the, the, you know, your surroundings and what's going on around you. And it's going to be foreign to you because it ain't nothing like on the street. It ain't nothing like on the street. So... Man, this valuable game for real. It, it is. And hopefully, man, like I say, y'all share these videos. If not these ones, the ones that they making over there at, 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 on Fleece Channel, Hustle Spirit and all that. Salute to them. Because like I say, this is the type of stuff that people need to hear about what prison is really like. Opposed to thinking that prison is a cakewalk. Prison is a TV show. Prison is a, is a, is a miniseries. Prison is uh, uh, some stuff like you might see on, on BET. Nah, it's, it, it's not. It, it really ain't, you know what I'm saying? And we laughing at this stuff now because of his delivery. We laughing because, you know, this is the aftermath. It, it, I guarantee you he won't laugh when none of this was going on. I know he won't, you know what I'm saying? Just like when I tell my stories about my experience and, and sometimes I'm laughing and it's because I'm laughing to, to, because I'm out of it, you know what I'm saying? But I won't laugh when none of it was going on because it won't none of it funny, you know what I'm saying? None of it, not to me, not at the time, you know what I'm saying? But now... Man, it's, you know, it's, it's just amazing, and I'm blessed to be up out of it, man. So, you know, like I say, that, that's the blessing in it, man. The, 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 the blessing in this lesson is there's lessons in this blessing. There's lessons, man, to be learned from a dude like him and talking about what he's talking about and what he went through, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, he went overboard. <laughs> now, he went overboard, you know, in my opinion. But like I say, I can't judge him. And like he say, he going to do what he want to do. But, yeah, he was gone, gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he did what he had to do, and he felt like what he what he, what he he wanted to do. What he felt like he had to do and what he wanted to do. So who, who am I or anybody else to judge for that? You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Talk to me. I talk back even when I'm sick. I talk back to TBP. So get at me. Talk to me in the comments, man. Sorry I missed the uh, morning mud on IG, man. I, I, I really wasn't feeling, feeling it at all. I didn't want to get on there and get the coughing and coughing. And, um, 
I had to go, you know what I'm saying, to get myself checked out, man. So hopefully I'll be back to normal in a minute. You know, don't take long with me. Memo system, top 10. You understand me? Built for it tough. We be back. TBP Nation, man. Can't stop, won't stop. Y'all be safe out there. Be smart. Make good decisions, man. And duck them hooks. Boom, 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 boom. Duck that flu virus, man. It's out there. It's nasty, too. Thank you special. Yeah, pure deliciousness. Pure deliciousness, man. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's a name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family love me. And that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.